over tripping on psychedelics in the daytime versus the night so I've done both and I'm not really sure which one I prefer it kind of depends on what kind of trip that I want but I have done day trips more often than night trips so with day trips uh, one thing that's really awesome about them is the Sun so sunlight just makes everything look really beautiful. You can imagine sunlight filtered through leaves on plants looks amazing. And also sunlight itself, if you're outside, feels very warm and nice and comforting. And also, I love clouds too. So if you're looking to have a sunny and a cloudy day, especially those kind of clouds that are really fluffy, oh my god, those are amazing to look at too. So if you want to go trip in nature, I recommend doing it in the daytime because you'll be able to see more things and it won't feel as scary, like you won't feel like you're lost or there are things hiding in the darkness or things like that. Also depending on when you dose and how much you take, you'll be able to catch the sunset on the come down which would be really beautiful as well and a nice kind of end to the trip. Also, you'll be able to sleep early, maybe, hopefully, and uh, possibly have a productive day the next day. On the flip side, it's harder to have a more introspective or deeper trip in the daytime because the rest of the world is awake and so it's very distracting looking at everything that's going around and people may be more likely to want to interact with you as well so um, the trip may be more external. And then at night, you can imagine it will be easier to be more introspective, easier to go in deeper into the trip because the rest of the world will be resting and so you'll kind of have have your own space but as a result of that you may feel more alone it might be more scary more creepy tripping at night is definitely more mystical and intense so because of that I recommend tripping indoors where you'll feel safer so at night I really like to look at colored lights if I'm on acid so things like colored Christmas lights or a colored holographic thing like I have behind me um, they're like eye candy to look at on acid and they're more prominent at night and then if you don't live in New York like I do you may actually be able to see the night sky at night so I think it would be super magnificent to look at the stars and the universe when you're tripping and ponder your small existence and all that so depending again on how much you take and when you take it you may be able to catch a sunrise at the come down of the trip which would also be a really nice ending um, especially at night I feel like you went through this whole journey uh, inwards and now you're kind of coming out and then the rest of the world is waking up and it's a sense like a, a beacon almost <laughs> of resolution or something some feeling like that if you're gonna trip at night make sure that you have no commitments or anything to do the next day because you very well may be sleeping the rest of the day. <laughs> so yeah, if you're tripping for the first time, I'd definitely recommend trying it in the daytime first just because, as I mentioned, it'll feel more safe and comforting. But if you're an experienced tripper and kind of looking for a challenge, nighttime will be really interesting, especially if you do it at night and you turn off all the lights in your room so it's completely dark and you don't have music or anything. Now, I've never tried this because it seems way too intense for me at this moment, but um, I hear it can be really uh, intense and can go in really deep. So you can imagine in the daytime, your open-eyed visuals will be more crazy, and then at night, your closed-eyed visuals will be very crazy. <laughs> Alright, so let me know which you prefer, day versus night tripping. Uh, if you are able to do both, I would recommend it. Um, but no matter what you do, I hope, as always, you do it safe, responsibly, and safely. Alright, till next time. Bye!